Let's try again, shall we? Instagram just locked me out of a live. I have no idea what happens. Let's invite Lisa in. Hopefully she'll be in here now anyway. Where are you, lovely Lisa? There you are. Live. Um, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I let you down. You were like, do you have a Santa hat? So I literally went to the Christmas tree and I got some balls hanging from my ears, girl. Can I just say also, listen, these are the cheapest the antlers. I've got the biggest head in the world. They don't stay on. I only suggested the Santa hat because you won't remember, but when we were trying to organise our diaries, you said if we do the week before Christmas. And then I was like, Santa I don't hat. have a Santa hat. And I, I mean, I've, I've got a little tiny tree here as well. You'll be pleased. I just had a panic when you said, let's do so. I've got a little tree and I can just sit here like this and be like, yes, Nadine, I'm organised. Thank you, Mira. Exactly, Thank Mira had a living proof mini tree. You recognise? <laughs> I think I've still got. I, 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 I think do. I've still got one growing Absolutely. in the back garden from last year because I planted it up. So um... no, they are they are genuinely really live trees. So you can. It makes complete sense. And also, you've got a beautiful big garden. I've got such garden. Oh, I do yet, love it. I'm such a garden. little kind of barefoot and hanging out in the garden we're really lucky it's not massive but it's quite long so it's quite narrow and long but it's beautiful so beautiful it's really and i've noticed that whenever people come over to your house to shoot they always end up catching you <laughs> in your garden barefoot looking gorgeous and you know that the disappointment of my year this year was that i was supposed to move out this year and, and the property market was all over the place but i aspire to live the lisa oh, snowden bless lifestyle you. Well, I literally 2022 is your year you're going to find the perfect place and you will be will be doing would we'll be doing lives from your garden hopefully hopefully okay let's dive straight in because i'm wary of the fact that it's a monday night your gorgeous boyfriend is downstairs, probably going. Uh, no, he's supper. actually been cooking a lot and he's working, so we're absolutely fine. So do not worry. Oh, brilliant! My boyfriend's been and had a root canal today, and he's downstairs all numbed up. And even he said, "Oh, no hurry. I'll just be <laughs> dribbling on the sofa." Oh my god! <laughs> do you feel a little bit guilty? Nah. Okay, fine. No. <laughs> not remotely. Not remotely. Right. I know how hard it is to narrow it down to just 10, but let's dive straight in. And I described you earlier on as TV presenter, stroke model, stroke all round wondrous Thank woman, you. and you are really, but is your, is your knowledge of skincare and makeup something that you've gleaned over the years from Absolutely from Absolutely, everything I've learned. I mean, I've always been obsessed with beauty. My, my, my auntie used to work at Kanibo in um, Selfridges. So I remember, this was years ago, so I was about seven or eight years old, and I remember she used to come home with little tiny samples. And do you remember that beautiful face funnel that they have, which is hard, and then when you get it wet, it goes really, and, and it goes soft, like a velvet sort of beautiful face, face flannel. Um, and so that was my sort of first foray into beauty. And then my mum used to leave her makeup bag out, so I used to always like do my makeup. I started plucking my eyebrows when I was about 11, so I've always been into beauty. My first passport picture, I had literally no eyebrows. Like I didn't realize, so I, I decided to like just restyle my brows. I was literally like hair back, 11 years old, the skinniest little sort of 90s sort of like brows. Um, and then I had my passport picture done the next day. So for like 20 years or 10 years, I had this little picture. Then you were stuck with it. Yeah, for the whole of the next day. Do you know, it's really interesting. I still remember how brilliant that Kanibo face cloth was. And it came in a sealed plastic like thing. And then you opened it up and you thought, I'm never going to be able to use this. This is terrible. But you see, it comes from that Japanese Beautiful. Korean tradition of cleansing your face. And nowadays, it's completely acceptable yeah. that we use cloths to cleanse. And yeah, yeah. So, so and that was my first kind of like, I, I fell in love with beauty then. And then I was lucky enough to get into modeling. And that's when I was in my element, I'd sit there, and I'd see all of the makeup artists, beautiful stuff all laid out, and the mirror, and I just watched them go to work and transform my face and just how tactile they were with their hands and like, prepping the skin and it just like I just fell in love with it and I just 
that's my favorite part of the photo yeah. shoot is seeing what products they're using, how they're going to apply them and picking up tips along the way. So, yeah. People say, people say to me, because obviously I've been a journalist for 32 years in the magazines and newspapers and beauty and everything. Like people go to me, how do you know so much? And I go, because I've just sat there literally transfixed to all of these experts. It doesn't matter who they are. It all just gets absorbed into me. And there's nothing better than watching somebody. I mean, I was always the journalist on set, but I'd watch somebody like Mary Greenwell or Pat McGrath make up somebody and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I the dream, I McGrath, the dream. I literally so felt good. like it was like a spiritual experience. I was so excited and Jesus, yeah. what that woman can do. And Mary, you know, and Sam McKnight and all of these greats when you're on set with them. Like, they're just wizards and they're just fantastic. You, you've been a great inspiration all, not all my life, because you're not that much older than me, but like, <laughs> I've grown up with you, Nadine. No, you know what I mean. Old enough. <laughs> right, okay, let's dive straight in. Number 10 on Lisa, Lisa Snowden's 10 so out of Are we 10 going in order of my favourites or it's just 10 amazing products? Okay, so the Emma Hardy Cleansing products. Balm is literally like a lifesaver. Yep. Look at that. It's used to the max twice daily it dissolves my makeup it's beautiful for massaging it's gentle doesn't sting my eyes it's really great if your skin's really dry as well because of the moringa that beautiful ingredient if you want to put a mask on and go to sleep you absolutely can just put cleanse double cleanse and then put a big thick mask a big thick layer of that on and go to sleep um if i've ever hurt myself like any burns or anything this is really healing for that as well so i think this is one of my all-round staple beauty and i just love it it makes cleansing which can be a little bit boring sometimes at the end of the day you're like oh God, I've got to wash my face sure. it actually is a lovely experience so i love the smell i love the consistency and i presume also that you love it that at the moment and we've both done a lot of tv but you know you're still doing tv people have no idea how much makeup you wear on tv because the lights are so strong I presume that that will get rid of every single scrap of tea. Yes, yeah. and it's really interesting because you obviously makeup, do the yeah. first. So I put it on dry skin and then I add a little bit of water and I have to do it a couple of times when I've got the TV makeup. Mm -hmm. And a couple of, couple of times if I'm wearing waterproof mascara as well, um, because it will take it off, but it just takes a little bit. Yeah, you just need to be a bit more oh, gentle really? with yourself, with your eyes. But yeah, absolutely. It gets every everything off and it doesn't feel like it strips your skin it leaves it lovely um a lovely sort of film on it i, I really really like it um so you said you use it twice so you don't use it as a first I don't. cleanser and then you Occasion use it a second cleanser no have you, have you got dry skin i mean i've got more on the drier oh, side of skin so I'm, I'm, I'm not combination. I'm a little bit more dry. My skin loves moisture. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's perfect for me. Sometimes I might use the Ren um, Perfect Canvas Cleanser, you know, or maybe the Balance Me. I'm a balm oh, cleanse. A balm I don't cleanse really like, I, I quite like okay. some of the cleansing washes. I like, I quite like the, the um, Emma Hardy one, but I prefer the balm. It just suits me really well. <laughs> And what's well, what's just anything that like I've got that's clean. It? Just like if, you know, a nice clean okay. towel or I've got the Aurelia bamboo cloths, which I really love as well. Um, but yeah, I'm like just constantly just clean flannel, clean face, face cloth um, and just gently just kind of clean it off. Yeah. But if it's a white one, it's filthy at the end Are of the day. Like it looks kind of grubby. And you, like me, basically, on my radiator at any one time, if anybody comes over, there'll just be a series of face cloths drying yeah. off, ready to do the rotation again. Wash them, seven absolutely, wash cloths, absolutely. ready to go again, um, always. Yeah, loads of face yeah. flannels, and I just, yeah, whatever's clean has to be used. But I definitely like to add a bit of water yeah. and just kind of break yeah. it down and get it into that lovely milky consistency. Um, yeah, and it does emulsify really well, and it comes away, and it leaves your skin super hydrated and almost moisturised. Yeah, but yeah. Super so I'm looking at some of the time. comments. Yeah, a lot of people love the. You sold me on that face cloth. Trust me, I have no. It's idea not. Where it's you changed though. It's changed brand, yeah, they... and you can still buy it. And I wish I'd found it. it now it is it is it begins with S. You'd know it. It's um. Is it maybe? SK two. Do you think it's SK? They're really similar brands. I think Kinebo is still available, and the chances are it's probably available on somewhere like Yes Style maybe or maybe Cult Beauty. 
I will find and I will tag it below, don't you worry, because we'll do an 11 or a 12 because we always end up adding in extra ones. But if I can find that original Kanebo face cloth, it's, it's amazing. It's really good. It it's was so soft the time and, it still and is. gentle. Sensei. Is it Sensei? Is se it, that's it, that's who it is, Sensei. Sensei, Sensei, Sensei. And now it comes in this flat, um, it comes in about a little box like this, about this size, and it's just a flat sort of envelope, and that's the flannel inside. That's exactly it. Thank you, Louise Rose. Amazing work. Um, I absolutely love that all of our followers know so much like they're my followers are true aficionados i absolutely love them so i'm going to add that in as number nine so that's an extra one the sensei yeah so i well. really right. love bio Keep effect going. i love the egf serum um i'm a big fan of it and i find it's really you know like i said my skin's slightly on the more dry side so it loves moisture and i love this serum um which is the egf serum from bio effect um do you use it No, I'm not, not sold on epidermal growth factors. No, I think there might be a bit of marketing hype, but that's not to say that the, the serums are beautifully formulated and they aren't loaded with hyaluronic acid and glycerin and antioxidants and all that. I've yet to be convinced of the slightly contentious EGF technology. Oh, really? And that's not Even just that brand. Like, you know, it's brands. made from barley, so it's like a mm. vegan. It's not nothing sort of scary or, you know, sort of from animals or anything i i really love it my skin was no it, i'm not saying yeah i'm not saying it's dangerous for you at all i'm just saying that for me the the whole egf so sort of epidermal growth factors whether they're from whatever source i just have yet to be convinced that said I'm prepared to be open. Formulating chemists out there sell okay. me the well, I, formulations. I but really like it because, um, it. sorry, people are saying I love your earrings. These are literally from my Christmas tree. <laughs> They're cheap as chips baubles that I've somehow like put some wire on. And so, yeah, you, <laughs> you can get these anywhere and they're about two pounds each. Um, what? <laughs> The thing is, though, you're so gorgeous, you can carry off anything. You can go on to QVC and make sure. I'm going to do that. I'm going to introduce this is my new so earring range. Uh, Limited edition party collection. Can you imagine going out dancing in it? Like, um, so, so yeah, I guess, I guess the, 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 the formulation feels similar to a hyaluronic acid because it has got the hyaluronic acid in it. What I love yes, about it is, is there's hardly any ingredients. So it's like about four ingredients. So I like the purity of it. I love that it's made with, pu I love everything about the, the brand bio effect. I just think it's just really interesting. I can't wait to go over there and like get to see the greenhouses and see how they make it all. And I, I, I hope when I was Have you been invited? this year or last year or lockdown, whatever. So it's on my list. Have you been? I know. Yes, it's amazing. It's very impressive. It's very, the thing is about Iceland is, is if you go to any of either the Scandinavian countries or Iceland and they have a, a small brand that is focused on localized ingredients. It, to me, I like supporting them for that reason. I'd be the same with a brand called like Lumine as well, which comes out of yeah. like up in the That's Nordic enough. countries as well. It's lovely. Okay, so, do you yeah, so what I do is I would I would use my Moringa cleansing balm and then I would just splash over with the EGF serum from BioEffect and I quite like to use those together. So it's not a toner as such, but it is just more of a, a, a water and you just splash it on. It's an essence and so it's, and an it's got the EGF, yeah. so it starts to kind of prepare the skin for whether you want to use your hyaluronic acid um, or this serum, which I really, really like. Um, it plumps up my skin. Initially, you would might think it leaves you a bit tacky and a bit sticky, but that immediately absorbs in. And I just love the kind of the plumpness and the luminosity that it gives me. So this, yeah. you know, might not be for you. And I've got, no, I've got no argument with that. I agree, it completely does that. And if you think, if you're looking at Lisa's tiny little bottle of serum, it tends yeah. to come in a, a set. By and the it's way. A it, it comes actually come at the moment like in that. this really cute little travel case like this. Um, and this isn't an ad. Somebody said, is this any of this is an ad? This is Nadine's, four, this is your 10, 10 out of 10. No, if this was an ad, I'd just be cut off now because I just said, I didn't believe You are not going to be invited technology. on any more trips with BioFX. It's not that I don't think, no, I know. It's not that I don't think 
that it works, I think that it's yet to be proven in clinical trials to work. So for most people, for skeptics like myself, and I am a skeptic, EGF, we're sitting on the fence. But I have to say, I do think it's an amazing hyaluronic acid and it's super hydrating. Have you not used the EGF power cream drink. either then? You're not, you're not a believer in that? I love yeah. this brush. I bloody love it. It's so weird, isn't it? No, it's not. Is that, but that's is that your next part one? of the family that I do really like. So for the daytime, my absolute fave is my skin finishing moisturizing tint from Dr. Paraco with SPF 30 in it. Now, this is fabulous. So it's obviously firming, um, toning, protecting because of the SPF, but it's also got a little bit of a tint. Now, again, almost finished with that, but it looks slightly um, sort of, not brown, but slightly, it's got a little bit of colour, but then it's got these tiny, tiny little pigments that just dissolve um, when you rub it into the skin and it just sort of, they just sort of burst and release. And then you just get this gorgeous, see, I'm all about the glow. My skin just wants And can I tell you, the Perico No Makeup Makeup entire collection is absolutely brilliant. The No Makeup Makeup foundation, the blush, I the lip balms, they are so good. They're makeup, good. but they're they infused. Are so good. It's, it's that, oh, I just woke up like this, but it's such a clever skincare. <laughs> Somebody's just said it's Pat Butcher herself. I can't take myself seriously. You were supposed to be in <laughs> Antlers. I'm like, all right, babes. All right, babes. He's also, Christmas. can I just say, if that's Pat Butcher, that's, Pat Butcher's had some very good work done recently, trust me. <laughs> Somebody just asked what foundation I'm wearing. I'm wearing the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I wrote a feature for the Saturday Times today and I was testing foundation. I'm not sure if you'll like it. I think it yeah, might be too Yeah, I, I, I do I love, love uh, the glow for me. So it's, and that you can whack on. Look at that, just that sheen. It's gorgeous. And it looks like yeah, you've got a little bit of makeup it's on, great. but you haven't. And like you said, the no makeup mm -hmm. makeup products are infused with skincare. So really good gorgeous skincare within the makeup and it's really similar with that plus you've got the spf 30 so all day long whether you're out going out or staying in you're protected from your devices from the blue lights on your phone and your screens and stuff um and so i hate the word anti-aging but it's 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 a it's a protection for your skin as well so big fan of pericone okay that is dr pericone's skin finishing tint spf 30 for yes. everybody asking it's obscenely expensive yeah but it lasts but it ages I list but it is unique i don't know a single other no, product and i've used this like for about that. 10 years i absolutely love it and i would take it on holiday yeah. and i think it covers a multitude of sins because it does it, it almost gives you a bit of a blur it's like i tell you what it's like it's like trini's bff or a boreum's cc cream it comes out clear or sort of clear with a sort of sheer tint to it and then the pigments burst on your skin and you suddenly just have your skin but on its best day it's very very well clear. i'm gonna Everyone get to that next because actually wearing, my this is the pericone okay. you were talking about the no makeup makeup lipstick i've gone for a little bit of a festive now i'm gonna have to get my specs on aren't i to tell you what name it is because it's the same situation we're always like <laughs> middle-aged women reading lipstick names and i think and the, obviously look. of yeah. course the 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 name has come off but i think it's berry or and the good it's thing beautiful. with these you it. can also just put it on your cheeks you know or you put a little bit too much yeah. on on your lips and you just work it in and you just give yourself that lovely little yeah. healthy glow um i absolutely and... love those products i really do and when i shake my head my antlers make a noise I've got such a big head, honestly. Lisa, it's gonna, it's gonna give you head pain, isn't it? It's like pinching on your. Oh no, no, no! They're too cheap and baggy for that. Uh, uh, Poundland. Um, I know, I know. All I the like time. I said, I just literally was like, I don't have anything festive, so I'm gonna have to just rob my Christmas tree of its balls and just hang them. I think you've done. It's so yes, yeah, so we've got the lips, we've got next? that. So um, I love the Amanda Harrington um, tan facial mist. Um, it is 
Can I tell you the amount of times that I'm on here? I would honestly say 80% of the time somebody I'm not surprised because it product. literally will just turn your day around. You know, obviously we had not been able to go on holidays. We can't have sunbeds anymore. I'm like riddled with no. pigmentation from my days under the sunbeds. Um, don't do it. If you're young, don't do it, please. It's not worth it. Get a product like this instead. It's, I'm honey, I'm naturally you honey? honey on my face. Although Amanda has used natural olive on me. So what I would do if I really want to get some good sort of contouring, I would, and the brush is amazing. So you've got, sorry, dirty brush, but you've got this amazing angled brush that she's got. Um, and so you can really like, what I would do is, and I even just do my um, Moringa cleansing into my EGF essence and my serum into my SPF, let that absorb a little bit, but you still want a bit of um, moisture on your skin so that this will blend in. And what I yeah. do is I just literally, should I just do it now on top of everything? Okay, so I just put a couple of spritz yeah. on and I would just go and go up into the sort of hairline and I would just follow my cheekbones up like that and you can just really get a nice bit of sculpting. All the little hot spots you would get if you were on holiday and then underneath here as well, I do a little extra, little extra to give me less of a double chin and more of a jawline. Do you? I use my bronzer under there. Oh yes. It's such a great product. Anybody else that they're saying, um, trust me, watch the lives I've done with Amanda Harrington. At one point, in fact, the, go over to her and watch the lives because I got cut off in a live. We were sculpting my old lady upper arms. I was doing it under the tutelage of Amanda Harrington. It's my She's so good, it's and, so good and she gets you to do like this swan so neck. Good. So there's all these ch these tricks where you can elongate yeah. your neck. And the, the, you can, your bones. Yeah. You can... I presume yeah. she's done you, she's tanned you. Never for a shoe, but we've done a couple of lives shoe. and she is amazing um but this is the little baby travel one like a little a jet, a jet set duo that you can get That's, in a little yeah, box yeah. um this is jet a normal size duo. brush that you usually get a tiny little brush with it um and it's foolproof tan that you can put on to go out in the daytime doesn't smell if i can do it like that with literally no light you just blend it this is the secret weapon the brush blends it beautifully um, and then it just develops over the next eight hours. And if you want to do it before bed, you can as well. Um, and I love it. So that will just make me yeah. feel more alive. Um... When I did my lives with Amanda, what amazed me was that she did it over the top of her SPF. She did it over the top of her foundation. And she was like, but it'll just give me a little bit of a glow. And then I'll go back in at night and do all the rest all over. And it's such a slow, steady development that you there are no streaks no yeah. mess no fuss just genius yeah. i just it, it's do like makeup really so it would be like so like for this it's like instead of using your bronzers and then once that's dried i would even yes. just go back in with that like you can literally play and just add a bit more to your face you don't have to like worry you know like normally with tan you're just like don't touch me no water could come anywhere near me for the next 10 hours you can just put it on and chill it's absolutely brilliant yeah it's such a slow, steady wins the race, slow burn tan. I love it. I just really do. I'm, uh, I'm the same as you. I'm natural honey, but it comes. Yeah, from natural rose, natural rose, honey, and honey, olive. Natural, yeah, olive, and olive, olive is great. Olive. Actually, though, she put it on me, and I, yeah. I was tanned for longer, and I was darker. I think her, her natural um, olive is mm. more Beyonce, Nicole Scherzinger, and the, the natural honey is more sort of Jennifer Aniston, that sort of California glow. And then Rose, she was saying she did for Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, so it's for the more blonde well. with a little yeah. bit more of a pink base to your skin. Um, but yeah, um, love it. Exactly. And she's bringing out darker shades Amazing, this year as amazing. Well. It's great. I know. I know. Yeah, because, oh, she's such a uh, Next one, well. I like to right, kind of um, support small businesses. And I also like to have something in my handbag to lift my spirits and kind of calm me down if I need it and that would, would be my moon mist uh, which is almost like um it's, my friend called Paolo it makes, makes it. it I've spoken about it he he basically you can spray it on your body what he does is he makes a batch of them not many 
under the light of the full moon. So you know I'm a bit hippy-dippy full moon, love all of that sort of thing. And he gets these big vats of purified water, puts his crystals in it. They charge over the three nights of the full moon. Then he makes little bespoke bottles and infuses them with lots of beautiful aromatherapy oils. So each batch just smells amazing. Um, and just... So where do I um, find it's him on Paolo here Reflex. Yeah. At Paolo Reflex, I'll find him. I'll find him and I'll crest I'll credit. It's a really him. lovely Christmas like present. Christmas it comes present in a really as well. Is, is every is every batch? No, each batch smells, smells the same. He's perfected smell his smell. And it's got a mixture. He won't tell you all the ingredients, but it's just like beautiful aromatherapy, not too overpowering, really beautifully uplifting and calming, and it's just got a lovely feeling about it. Um but it well, you know, a little bit of a little bit of bergamot. It's, it's, it's got, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's got this. It's just a very soothing, healing, nurturing smell. But each batch is different because the different vibes of the full moons are different each month, each cycle. So that's the kind of hippie magic. Nadine's looking very skeptical. If you don't like my EGF serum, you're not going to like my moon mist. <laughs> <laughs> But this is why you and I should do a beauty show together. Because we're yin and yang. We are literally yin and yang. We would make the best beauty I just love duo. your face. We like... really would. <laughs> I like... <laughs> but also, the reason I started doing 10 out of 10 is because eventually, I'm fed up with my own voice. Also, I have a very specific skin texture type age. I've got very specific hair. I want to hear about other people. I'm like, that's the whole point of 10 out of 10. Sometimes I do it with a scientist. Sometimes I do it with a moon bather. <laughs> yes, baby. Also, can I just say, can I just say, can I, at, at this point, we have to be very careful, right? There will literally be pervs and stalkers hanging around where Lisa lives, out waiting for her to go naked moon bathing. Trust me, there will. Do we don't that. need to encourage this. She's got I don't enough do that. I do put already. my crystals out overnight. Do you use gua Do you use facial gua or anything? You don't. You're not into that. No, because because I work on the principle. If, so you were just talking about how careful you have to be cleansing your eyes. So if you have to be careful cleansing your well, eyes, you don't why would drag you drag it because you've got a lovely like skin. you know you've got a lovely sort of slide on the skin, and you're like. I like. I'll do a roller. I do like a roller because a roller rolls over. I'm, I have to be care. You have to be careful with gua sha because to me, if you've got any sensitivity or you're prone to capillaries, like broken capillaries, you have to be careful. But I do like a roller, and I, I love like the ice, ice rollers. rollers. They're great. Like the cryo balls. Rollers. Yeah, Rose Inca. Yeah, ro yeah. Ro Rose Inca just about to launch some, but Style Pro do brilliant cheap ones that you can just put in yeah. the freezer, and they're amazing. Yeah, I love so those. I absolutely, absolutely do. Um, but I do really like my gua sha as well, just to get rid of any like tension around the jaw. You know, to help with lymphatic drainage. You don't have to go really hard, but it helps to like get that blood flow and that sort of like boost the circulation. So I really like those, and I put them under the light of the full moon, and I get a really lovely result after that too. <laughs> I get so them from you Hey get You, Hey You from? method. So it's um yeah, Katie Brindle's gua sha, which which are lovely. Um, but you must make sure that you're using a lovely oil or something first because you don't want to drag the skin. Um, and if you are going to do around the eyes, just be really careful and hold the skin. Um, but I just really like to do it around here, especially if I'm puffy and I wake up in the morning and I'm a bit puffy and I quite like to drain that puffiness. Again, the cryo is lovely for that too. Yeah, basically anything that will boost lymphatic drainage because the eyes are the only part of the body where the lymphatic goes both ways. So there's not a right or wrong. So you can go that way or you can go that yeah, way. Yeah, going, going out here, draining it down here, down here. And down. I had a hydrofacial the other day, um, yeah. and she used. Have you ever had one? And she used this because you can add on the lymphatic drainage. And I was like, my face was so puffy in the morning. And she had this little suction cup that's connected to the machine. You know that they suck all the blackheads out there, but they, they turn it down, they have a different cup, and then they suck it here, and then they pulled it out to here and out to here and down. I swear, in two minutes, all the puffiness had gone out of my face. It's, it's amazing if you're Was that the one with me around? Absolutely amazing. You can, no, you can 
choose whoever you want. So basically, the hydrofacial system is just a system. So they have their own products, but you can do it with Murad Skin Ceuticals, Zo Health. Like you can choose your add-on ranges, but it wasn't actually it the was that little suction. It was the skill of the Cavendish person knowing and going out and down and out and down. And I sat down seriously with a face. Was, we shot really early in the morning. So I was like, I suffer from such bad fluid retention. And I sat up and my face looked like I'd run a marathon. All Excellent. the puffiness was gone. It was amazing. That's the, and, and that's, I think if you, and skilled therapists can do it as well with their hands, but the skill of lymphatic drainage for puffy eyes it is really mind is, It really is. It's so a game changer, so literally. Clever. And even if you do it to yourself, you can, you know, you can just gently like try and move the fluid yourself. You know, you don't have to go really hard, um, but you do want to drain it. Yeah. It's just gentle, oh, no, isn't it? It's just light. moving this that not fluid, light, moving yeah. that puffiness. But again, I like to do all of this in the morning with my Moringa cleansing because I think, you know, if you get it on your hands first and you just you just start breathing and you can just start like just waking your face up. Because I sleep on my face, so when I wake up, I'm like, Rah. yeah, I literally Dude. need to be ironed. I know I should be on my back on a silk pillowcase, but it doesn't happen. Listen, I sleep on this side of my face and I have got a permanent like mark of Zorro crease in here. And it took me ages to realize what it is. And I was speaking to somebody about it that I was filming. And I said, can you put a line of filler in there? And they said, we can't. But any doctor, aesthetic doctor or yeah. facialist, worth yeah. their salt can yeah. look at you and tell you how you sleep. And the people that age the best I sleep can't do on it. their backs. And I just can't do yeah. it. I'm I like, like to be all snuggled on my side, like a little embryo. And then I somehow end up like face planted. So in the morning, I really do need to like, you know, get everything moving again. Because otherwise I'm a bit like. Um, like I'm like a little dormouse all scrutched up to one side. But I have got this permanent. And most people can't see it until you see me in real life. I've got this permanent line. And is that too much of a dangerous eyebrow. area for so filler funny. then? Is that the situation? Yeah. I mean. If you're young and you don't suffer from fluid retention, then filler works brilliantly around the eyes. But by the time you're my age, I tried it under here and it didn't work. And here, if you're prone to fluid retention, the filler is hyaluronic acid. It will just fill. So it will end up, I'll end up looking like I've gone like rounds with a boxer. It would just swell too much. So I can't That's have not worth it. You could get the pre precision tool from Hey You and just do some really, I wish I brought it with me. It's a lovely little precision tool. I'll get them to send you one and you could just literally just gently try and iron out that little crease. Just gently, gently, gently. Uh, it's so interesting. I actually do right, think it exactly. is a permanent crease now though. But it makes me look like I've been in some cool Matrix movie. If it went up through me, just eyebrow, like it's like it a scar, like just like, like it's like you know, um, like I'm some cool superhero. Uh, what number are we are? Right, on to your next product. Oh, okay, I think fine. I'll just keep going. Um, I'm having too much fun. I really with like the um, the advanced retinal strivectin to use at night. Actually, so I, yeah, I I think. Um, I've always been a bit nervous of retinol because I've I've tried a couple of brands and they can be really quite aggressive and I don't like anything that's too abrasive or where I will wake up looking really red and start to flake. Well, you've got to spend so much time on camera. Yeah, so this one doesn't downtime. give me any downtime, but you get great results. Um, and you know I, I remember this brand from you know 20 30 years ago in the states you remember that the stretch mark body cream which everybody was like don't use it for your body use it for your face and that's when i first got introduced to strovectin so that's when i started using it but since then they've expanded the range and it's 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 brilliant so this is really lovely to use at night do you know what i love about that product is they don't discuss the percentage of the retinols but so i would imagine it's sitting at 0.5 percent i don't think it's one percent but it also has peptides it also has steroids and it has vitamin c in it so it's like you don't have to think about it you don't have to layer on different things that one cream is all you need at night i love strivate and i think they're a really interesting brand yeah. i met the founders it's a really brand. So if anybody wants to kind of dip their toe Indeed. into you know retinol and i and you know i i know that everybody's always singing its praises retinol it's like amazing but like i said i've always been a bit nervous about it saying that i started using the petro simone have you seen have you ever met petro before pietro pietro simone no oh my god he's amazing I know I've so i've started using this is the fierce 
body oil and it's a retinol, a high potency retinol for the body. So I have got a little bit of scarring on my arms because I used to get keratosis polaris a lot. So, you know, chicken skin on your arms. I used to be so guilty of just sitting there and squeezing and the little white little coming out. So I've got scars on my arms from that. I've also got pigmentation that's coming up um, on here, on my forearms and a little bit here, just from over the years of not being very sun safe. You know, we all we just did didn't it. know it the damage. Nice. And for me, I just loved being tan and I'd be on photo shoots in Spain and we'd be in the sun all day. And then at lunchtime, I would still lie out and be in the sun. So lots of pigmentation that's coming up now. So I'm trying to kind of rectify that. I've only been using it for a week. I'll let you know how I get on. But it's a lovely oil consistency. And so far, there's no redness or any downtime. And I'm really hoping that after a month of using it, it's going to help to turn around that skin, speed up that process. I actually you know what don't know what percentage is it is. And I've thrown away the... Um, but he said to me, be careful. Don't use too much of it. Um, how did you, oh, how gosh. Did you get rid of your I think that was hormones. So I went to see a dermatologist years ago and he said, oh, don't worry, by the time you're in your late 40s, 50s, that will go. And I said, well, no, I'm 30 and I want to, I want to be able to, you know, get my arms out. I'm yeah, a model, so um, get rid of it now. It just started to lessen as I got older. Obviously, Ameliorite is amazing. I really like this brand. This was my my first journey into helping that chicken skin because I do sometimes get it on my thighs a little bit now too. And in the winter, yeah, people get it. All I used to have it on my face. On I used to get faces. little tiny white bumps, and so that mm -hmm. I think is a real indicator that you potentially get it onto your body as well. So face when I was little arms and now it's on my legs and it's almost like little blocked pores it's it's an overproduction of keratin isn't it and they just basically get get trapped in your skin so even exfoliating and things like that doesn't really help it picking definitely doesn't help it please don't pick because you will scar um so yeah i think one of the first times we ever chatted about beauty we were yeah. talking about it at a space nk event and you came up and you were chatting to Ginny. Lovely Ginny, we adore you. And Ginny was like, you need to speak to my friend Nadine. Nadine will tell you. And I was like, ameliorate, it's amazing. So it's a lactic acid. So, but you have to use it all the time, virtually yeah, every night really do, to but... stop coming back. Oh, lethal shampoo and conditioner. conditioner. Good question. Oh, I've got the colour, so it looks really hair. shiny. But I had massively grey roots up until a few days ago. But thank you. Um, yeah, so I love... Um, Living Proof, Living Proof products are amazing. I love, I love their brand, but I also like Redkin. I've been using Redkin, their special color shampoo and conditioner, because when I've had this roots and a tint, tint on it, I obviously wanna, I don't wanna have to go back in two weeks. So I try and hang on to it as much as I can. So. So do you use the Redkin brunette? It's not, it's, range, it's in a- Color protect range. It's a color protect range. It's in a blue package, a blue, blue containers. Um, I'll take a picture and send it to you. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll it's, and, it's blue and it's colour protect. Um, the shampoo's not blue, blue, it's just the, the bottles are blue. That's really good at trying to keep the, um, the colour and to protect it for longer and preserve it. Um, I really love, now I don't know if you've tried this yet, this is a protecting leave-in conditioner from Lola V. It's Jennifer Aniston's new brand. Um, it's not available, I don't think, yet, which is born. massively annoying. But it's a really nice leave-in conditioner because my hair, when I get out of the shower, is really knotted and matted. And this really helps. That's so interesting because I feel your, your hair is just always the... No, when I get out of the shower, it's like... It's definitely more on the dry side. I think because it's got a tint on it, it's giving you faux shine um but it's but it's and having dark hair i think makes it look healthier but um yeah i have to do treatment so i you know i love um living proof treatment the hair masks are great their dry shampoo i can't live without i try not to wash it that often i used to wash it every day and now i try and get two three days out of it and this really helps me Oh, you're like me, so you haven't, like, I have to wash my hair every two or three days. I just, otherwise it looks so it greasy and disgusting. Horrible, and it's horrible, doesn't so, it? And, <laughs> like, you know, I, I'd like to wash it every day, but it's just, it's, it, we just can't, you know? So 
I try to, this is the advanced clean dry shampoo, but their dry shampoo, just their normal dry shampoo is incredible for any of you that hasn't, that haven't, I'm sure you have, because you've probably spoken about it quite a lot, but they're, they're dial up, die down, dial down, pH day. So perfect hair day volume blast is amazing if you've got fine hair like me. I absolutely, I just love you, Living Proof products. I think they're really good. Do you know that Jennifer Aniston, before she created Lola V? I do. And do you know what? George, my fiance, Proof. told me that the other day. And I don't know how. He, he's like, Jennifer Aniston was one of the first originators of Living Proof. And I'm like, wow, babe, I love your beauty knowledge. So they're both really silicons in hair care now my hair loves silicon so i don't have a problem with silicons in hair care but that's where the original idea of silicon free hair care came from so living proof out of la and she's now obviously moved on to low so it's just a lovely creamy yumminess and you just and you just yeah. put it onto your yeah, wet hair this. and it's just yeah. like and then i can get the brush through it and it's because it is matted when i get out of the shower a lot of people are saying is it the extreme um shampoo from redkin it is the extreme range from so red skin. So good. Did you know oh, that on your perfect head, they, they are so good. You should good do a split screen well. with lots of different people and just say each person has to pick one of their favourite products. That's what you should do. Do you know what I mean? Just, just do a live with millions of people. <laughs> if we could have but did with you know that your perfect people. hairspray nozzle can change depending? You you spin it depending. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah, so dial it's like, up, really dial down, like it's a little, little yeah. spray. But this is amazing. So if you've been to the gym and you're a bit sweaty or you're day three of your blow dry um, or you've put a bit too much facial oil, this is really good at absorbing the sweat, the grease, the oils. Um, but just spray it on, leave it for about 30 seconds and then work it in. And you don't get that chalky, talky residue. No chalky residue even on brunette. Yeah, no, really, really I love, love it. it. Such a great um, okay, let's think. So perfumes. I love me some perfumes. Cool, so, that's exciting. I've done my, obviously my cool. moon mist, which is a different kind of vibe. But I was given this Rose Noir from Byredo for my 40th birthday. Now, I think it's a real risk buying somebody perfume because it's such a personal thing. Um, but on my 40th birthday, this amazing gay couple turned up with this and I'd never smelt it before. And I literally fell in love with it and I've been using it for the, for the last 10 years. I'm going to be 15 January, so it's almost 10 year anniversary with Byredo, um, the Rose Noir. Now I love it because it's got that floral rose, fresh feminine, but it's got the Noir in it. So it's a bit sexy. Um massive hit of patchouli it's so sexy and i remember hugging you and saying you smell amazing is that and i thought it was portrait of a lady but it's a lighter portrait of ladies a bit marmitey it's so va -va boom sexy and it is absolutely i just your absolutely adore scenario. it so you know i think find a gorgeous perfume that you love this brand they have the most beautiful smells um so i'm a big fan of that and i think oh, you know i don't feel dressed enough unless i've got my perfume on in the morning like if i leave the house and i go and go into the studio and i'm like shit i haven't got my perfume on i feel like i've let myself down it's like it's like my superpower also can i just say to anybody out there not that you have the right to walk up to uh complete strangers in the street but <laughs> don't touch her just go up and sniff her. it smells so good i cannot tell you and if you do, and then, then whenever I hug you, I always grab you, and then I feel like a sort of a toddler when their mum's going to work, and I go, no, just a sec, where are you? Come back, come back, you smell Oh amazing. my God, you thank smell you, darling. So good. I, that, that's what's work. happening when you're hugging me then, I wasn't sure. It's like that lingering hug. <laughs> oh, I was just being a weird pervert, I promise you I was, and I'm just I know, afraid I'm the for same. Free um, so so yes, love, love, love that. Um, winding down at night, again, kind of, the olfactory senses. I'm a real big into smells and I love the balance me, um, beauty, sleep, concentrate. Have you ever used this roll on oil? So where do you apply it? Is it pulse points? That's how it's balanced. It's got me, CBD beauty, in it, which I know again, you might be a little bit like, mm, is there any scientific proof? <laughs> well, not topically, there's zero scientific proof, but it does yeah. work this way. So definitely. I put it there definitely. and there, and then I put it on my wrists, and I put it here. But also what I do is I put a little tiny bit on the end of my nose. 
and it's just so that I can really smell it. And it's more about a routine and a ritual. It's about yes, getting into bed, like obviously like hitting the menopause massively impacted my sleep and I needed to really have good sleep hygiene. So, you know, a little bit of a routine, maybe a shower or a bath, add your magnesium salts, your Epsom salts. Um, I love a pillow spray from Wren. You know, this is amazing. And now to sleep and my CBD. And these are two of my staples that I have by my bed. Spritz, spritz, spritz the pillow, spritz the duvet, and then roll this on. And George and I do this without fail every night. That, that's so interesting because you're so right about hygiene and setting good sleep rituals because I've written so many times over the years as a health writer about insomnia. And in fact, some people end up associating with the, the smell of, say, lavender. If they can't sleep, they end up having it, they end up, ends up triggering them. So the idea is to set your good intentions, have your ritual, set your good sleep hygiene. And then when you go, and I love that George does it as well, when the two of you go to sleep together, then next time when you're on a flight, you're having trouble sleeping, you're in a hotel, just the smell of that again should trick your brain into starting it to does. relax. It, it, so it triggers, it's that trigger, it's really, isn't it? Yeah. It's that, yeah. now it's time to sleep. Yeah. It's the association. It's, it's that your, your smell is, is so closely associated with your limbic system, which is how you feel mood and memory. So the ability to, to link something that even if it's tricking your brain into relaxing, it doesn't make any difference. It still works to help you relax. And if you can do that, then literally you'll be on a long haul flight going to shoot somewhere for, you know, hopefully in 2022 with this morning or loose women or something like that. And you'll go like, I've got eight hours and I've got sleep and film the next day. You'll be able to take that out. And then yeah. suddenly next thing you yeah, know, you'll it's be so It's so It's clever. having that routine. It's yeah. like doing it all the time, that consistency. Um, and, it, and it really, really helps. And both of those products are lovely. And, you know, you, it, there's loads of pillow sprays out there. Temple Spa, I've got a great pillow spray. Um, this works, I've got a great, you know, all, lots of brands I've got. And there's similar ingredients. It is the lavenders, it's the frankincense. It's those lovely, soothing, calming, switch off smells. Um, and I think it's- I bet your bedroom smells It does smell quite nice actually. Well. And we try not to have devices in the bedroom too, like that. I leave my phone now out of the room, which is, very it's quite well. tricky if you've got an alarm, but I just try and put it in the hallway or just out of the room just because otherwise I'm so tempted to go on my bloody phone. I'm so addicted to it. Like it's, it's a problem. Like it's in my hand all day long. So I'm like, I owe it to myself to at least an hour before bed, stay the hell off my phone. I completely agree. Also, can I just say the advantage of having it outside of your room, so just outside beyond the door, is that it forces you to get out of bed so you can't hit the snooze button. So <laughs> George will be like kicking you out, like get out. Come get on, the alarm. Yeah, exactly. So go. that would be my um, little little tip. Um, I Also, one thing I didn't tell you earlier, which is something that I've been using for about 30 years, are my Shuyu Amura eyelash curlers. Um, you know you can't get them. No, for I know, but money can you get them? The <sighs> They're the best by They're far. They're the best. So I saw them on Amazon, but I didn't realise that Amazon you can get a lot of fake products on there. I didn't know that. Mm, I think if you, um, I mean, can you well, get you it can. Uh, no, you, I mean, I don't know if you can ship it in. You probably could. I got these last time I was in Japan, um, and the good thing is you get an extra couple of the little. Um, little rubbers rubbers um but what's good about it is that it's yeah. a rounded rubber so you can it's much more gentle and much safer to use and what i would do is i don't even think for me it's worth putting mascara on until i've curled my lashes like honestly like unless you've got some people are blessed with really lovely curly lashes i've got quite straight lashes so um i like to curl them and then equally throughout the day just to freshen up the look i would gently with mascara on but gently go back in and just and just give them a little curl them back up again, and then it just it? almost looks like you've put another coat of mascara on which then you can of course but well i have just got a love affair with loads of mascaras let's have a look right so i've got fairy drops have you heard of fairy drops the most incredible Japanese brand. No, who's that by? Beautiful. Lots of them. Yeah, you can. You, they used to sell them at Boots, but can. I'm not sure if they're just if they're stocking them anymore. Really lovely brushes. A lot of the um, formulations are waterproof. 
but you look like you've got fake lashes. Love them. I. The brand is it's so cute. Look. Drops. So cute. And yes, you're right. The Troy Syrah lash curl. Exactly. The They're really good. I love uh, Ciate can. mascara. I love. Which is the, what's the name of, I need the proper um, name of that. Which is so demanding. <laughs> this is the it Wonderland me, mascara. Come on. Look at that big okay. chunky brush. Oh, I just you, got I them in my nose. I always smell well. them. I love, like, you can tell when they're like, you can tell when a mascara's off by the smell. Um, what else do I use? Code 8 Beauty mascara is really nice too. It's in the glass packaging, you know, the little bottle, which is great. I think it lasts a bit. Yeah. Again, it lasts a bit so longer. It's brand, brand new. It's well. a little bit watery at the moment. So I'm going to need for that to um, dry out a bit. And you... Dry out slightly. Do you wear a, you wear a foundation? Yeah, I wear, I wear concealer. concealer. I don't not. really like too many foundations. I tell you what I use, a combination. So I've got this um, Peach Low Lighter from Rodeol, which I really like. Um, and then I mix it with e.l.f. Cosmetics. Hold on, is that the wrong colour? Hold, please. Hold the line claw caller. So Hold I the mix these caller. two together. And what I would do, because the um, the Rodeo Peach Low Lighter, I just literally use a tiny bit. I don't like a lot of base on my face. Um, I obviously have pigmentation, so I prefer to do like a painting by... A painting by numbers, so Where like cover, 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 cover. But what I would do with those two is I would just mix them in like that. And then I just, mostly, my main concerns are my dark circles. Under eye dark circles, hence the peach. It makes complete That's the elf and that's the I can see. Like, I always do there because I'm always red there on the side of my face. And then I might just do a little bit here. There. And then I go in with the darker. That elf concealer was... What colour is it? That's medium peach. And then the darker one I use for my skin would be the warm medium. And then I do the same on my hand. Okay. And then I just go in and cover my scars, my pigmentation. So I don't, I don't like a mask of colour. I just like to cover it up and then yeah. I'd use my by Terry. I think you make up face the way a professional makeup artist uses. Is that the by Terry translucent? Yep. And cover, cover, cover. Cover chameleon. Somebody just said cover, 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 cover chameleon. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I'm going out, out, I might use a tinted, like a more of a kind of, like some of the elf have got some great, um, what are they cover what are they what are they called the tubes that they've got they're quite good as well if i wanted a bit more coverage but i find that it's just a bit aging on my skin and as i've gotten older i just think as long as you're using good products and you're looking after your skin i want the quality of my skin to shine through still otherwise it's just a bit too much yes so when you go on this morning well they know what they i'm like they so they <laughs> so over the years they kind of they know that i just like a little bit here and there um because i just even think for tv it's just a bit too much makeup um but yeah sometimes you know on shoots they do go they use a bit of chanel like the chanel moisture the chanel um foundation's lovely i do quite like the lumiere yeah, yeah but i don't lumiere own anything lumiere. like that for me Literally. but i think for shoots and for you know to get perfect skin absolutely brilliant um, but for me, just day to day, just looking more natural and a bit more fresh, a bit more shiny, a bit more of a glow. I'm all over that. And I just prefer. It's much more youthful as well. And I do think it's the way professional makeup artists work. That was absolutely, can I tell you how quickly that hour went? It went Wasn't like it? that. That was so much fun. It really was so much fun. Obviously, for everybody asking, I'm completely going to save it so you can watch it in your own time and I will list every single product. Now, if I get a product wrong, Lisa will tell me off. But also, if I get it wrong, come back and tell me because I will update all the captions because I want to make sure it's right. I want to keep it so that it's a good source of information for everybody. And isn't she wonderful? She's come back off of two, like, she did live earlier on. 
went upstairs, no, went downstairs, got a glass of wine, got two Christmas baubles, came straight I'm actually straight really proud of my effort for Christmas. Did you, I, did you? And she was like, have you got a Santa hat? And I was like, I remember saying to you, we should do it in the week to towards Christmas. Listen, and you. Listen, you. I only got all this stuff from Paolo. How are you going to wear that? That's not a hat. Santa what is hat? that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. No, that's... It's just a, it's just a weird bit of blow, blow Oh, my God, you're so cute. You literally went above and beyond. Yeah, no. This is just... This is my last-minute effort. So sorry about that. <laughs> no, but... yeah, no. Well, okay, can I just say, Pat Butcher, you've never looked so good, Thank you, sweetheart. You've never Thank you, looked sweetheart. so good. <laughs> can I just say, for anybody out there that is not from the UK, we are talking about an absolute classic, iconic soap character, who, by the way, can I just say, is probably but twice But she always had a great statement earring. <laughs> she always had an not amazing statement earring. Oh, dear, yeah. Yeah. And do you know that she called her no. autobiography end of an era? Do you know she's Gary Oldman's sister? Oh my yeah. God, I had no idea about that. Isn't that amazing? Oh my, that's amazing. Is, that is so amazing. I feel like now <laughs> we can start a Christmas <laughs> trivial quiz as well and just keep going to the new year. Thank you, my darling. I really appreciate it. I'll list all the products down below as well. Thank and you, my darling. Merry Christmas to you well. too and everybody. Thank you for having me. I feel very blessed. Can I just say, can I just say as well, the reason we did this on a Monday is because she I reckons she's going to be hungover for the that. rest of the week. So there you go. Bye. Bye. Lots of love, darling. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can't stop it, can you? <laughs> right, how do I stop? That's so weird. Right, let's have a look. Now I'm trying to stop it and it won't let me stop it. This is interesting, isn't it? 